Welcome back YouTube. As uh, many of you have already requested, you wanted me to do a bookshelf tour. So I'm going to go through my bookcases here and now I'll show you what I have. Of course you could always check out my YouTube videos and my blogs to see all the books that are on display here. There may be one or two that I haven't done videos on but I do plan on doing them in the future. So um, if you look in the link below I'll put a link to my blog which has a page called my library which has all the books listed. Um, so let's just start off here. So this is my first thin bookshelf and you can see Thomas Mann's stories. Pensies by Blaise Pascal, Thucydides, The Peloponnesian War, Descartes' Philosophical Works, Paradise Lost by John Milton, Essays by Ralph Waldo Emerson, Thomas Paine's Political Writings, The Prince by Machiavelli, and The Tragedies of Sophocles. Down here, you'll see Tacitus' The Annals, Faust by Goethe, Aristotle's Politics, War and Peace by Tolstoy, and T.S. Eliot's Let's see if that'll focus. Collected poems from, let's zoom in, 1909 to 1962. These, by the way, are all Franklin Library books, these two shelves here. Down here, we have a few Eastern Press. This is The Aeneid by Virgil, Livy's History of Early Rome, and Moby Dick by Herman Melville. So let's move down to the next shelf. You can see uh, these books right here are what's uh, called the Canterbury Classics. You'll see the collected works of Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Louis Stevenson's seven novels, Jane Austen's four novels, Charles Dickens four novels, and Mark Twain's five novels. And you'll see two of the Barnes and Noble Leather Brown classics here, uh, the collected Sherlock Holmes and the Foundation Trilogy. We have some more of those classics down here. As you can see, the Arabian Nights, the Count of Monte Cristo, the Iliad and the Odyssey, Ernest Hemingway's four novels, the Constitution of the United States of America, and selected writings of the Founding Fathers, Jules Verne's seven novels, and the Divine Comedy. This is the full Divine Comedy. And down here we just have a few other books here. I have Robert Jordan's The Eye of the World, uh, limited edition there with a the slipcase, the Oxford Classical Dictionary, and Easton Press's Battle. Okay, so let's move on to my second shelf here. It's a smaller shelf. You'll see the Folio Society's Natural History by Pliny the Elder. It's five volumes. Plutarch's Lives. There you go, four volumes. This is The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burden, three volumes, and Landscape into Art. These are all folio society here. Just quickly up here, you'll see The Annals of Tastis, another volume here, Franklin Library. And there's Game, which is actually a signed edition. This is from the Eastern Press, and Speaker for the Dead, not signed, but also from the Eastern Press. And you got Dracula there. So let's open up this shelf here and you'll see Folio Society's Edward Gibbons the rise and uh, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire this is eight volumes uh, the Roman Revolution Livy's the war with Hannibal the rise of Rome Pompeii and the classical world down here you can see Lloyd's Greek Science, The Campaigns of Alexander, and The Epic of Gilgamesh. Let me just push this a little bit forward, it's a little bit off. You have the Tolkien Classics here, from the Folio Society. And then you got the 50th Anniversary Limited Edition of The Hobbit, and the 75th Anniversary Edition, and The Hobbit Collector's Box there, Gift Box. Down here, you have The Earth, An Intimate History, St. Augustine's A City of God, Charles Darwin's The Origin of Species. That's a little bit hard to see, but that's Relativity by Einstein. We have three of Richard Dawkins' books here, The Blind Watchmaker, Unweaving the Rainbow, and Climbing Mount Improbable. 
we have Richard Feynman's Easy and Not So Easy Pieces and Thomas More's Utopia, and along with the Greek Myths, Volumes 1 and 2. These are all from the Folio Society. And then we have three more Barnes & Noble classics here. Gray, Dr. Gray's Anatomy, The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, and The Chronicles of Narnia. All right, let's move on to my last and final bookshelf. All right, so we have some Eastern Press up here, the Foundation Trilogy. I have this signed by Isaac Asimov and the uh, Analects of Confucius. As you can see, we have Common Sense by Thomas Paine on Liberty. Meaning of Relativity, Oedipus the King, Resistance to Civil Government and Other Writings, Meditations of Marcus Aurelius, The Lives of the Twelve Caesars, Revolutionibus of Copernicus, Fall of Arthur by Tolkien, The Wealth of Nations, and Crime and Punishment. Down here we just have some leather journals here, a little bit of a few of my pipes. And over here we have some of the deluxe editions of HarperCollins of Tolkien's books. So we have The Fall of Arthur, Legend of Sidgurd and Gudrun, uh, J.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion, Children of Here and The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is Tales from a Perilous Realm and Unfinished Tales there. Down here we have the super deluxe limited editions of The Children of Hurin and The Legend of Sidgurd and Gudrun. Both are signed and numbered. A few other journals. And then we have the Great Military Commanders by the Eastern Press. As you see, we have uh, let's Focus, Caesar, Napoleon, Wellington, Lee, Volume 1 and 2, Rommel, and Patton. Let's close that. Move on to the bottom. All right. So... Two from, uh, three from the Folio Society, Cicero's Orations, the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, and the Song of Roland. Over here we have a custom, I had this made for me, for the children of here, and it's just a slip case that the book could go into. And that, I'll put a separate video, is a book that I made. It is an illuminated manuscript of the Lay of the Children of Huron by J.R. Tolkien. It's leather bound and blue goatskin leather. Down here we have the Nautical Classics by the Eastern Press. Uh, as you can see over there, Airborne is actually a signed edition. We have uh, Gypsy Moth Circles the World, My Old Man in the Sea, God Forsaken Sea, Sailing Alone Around the World, and The Cruise of the Snark. Over here we have George R. Martin's limited slipcase editions of A Song of Ice and Fire, the ones that are out so far. We have Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance of Dragons. And down here are two of my Folio Society limited editions. Uh, both are illuminated manuscript facsimiles. One is the Liber Bestiarum, and the other is the Fitzwilliam Book of Hours. Both are numbered, and um, both are very beautiful. Um, so that was my bookcase tour. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it, and it's been taking me a while um, to go through it. Uh, of course, there's going to be more added as time goes on, and um, you guys will see that in terms of the individual book reviews that I'm going to be putting up. Uh, also, you notice that some of my book reviews are getting a little bit longer. A lot of you guys have been requesting that uh, rather than just show the book, talk a little bit about it. Although I don't haven't read all my books yet, the ones that I do read, uh, maybe I'll repost videos talking more about it. Uh, yeah, so... If you guys have any requests, like uh, certain books from the Eastern Press or Franklin Library or Folio Society, please feel free to shoot a comment down below or even private message me and I'll uh, let you know if I'll pick that particular book up and I can do a review for it. Um, in the future, I'll do another bookcase uh, tour if anything really changes. Um, that's about it. Keep on reading.